How's it going guys? Welcome to the second part on how to paint an Emperor's Champion from the Black Templars. So here's where we left off and what I'm going to do is use the lead belcher paint to start coloring all of the metal areas of the model which aren't too many. I'm using a fine detail brush I think it's a detail brush, it's a zero brush and I'm using it to color in the metal areas that's because I have to be very careful not to paint over the black armor that we worked so hard to make the color transition if by any mistake you paint on the black you still have your wet palette from which you can take the previous color and fix it no problem next I'm going to use sandry dust and this color I'm going to use it for all of the loincloth areas, all of the uh, cloth of the model and the uh, purity seals. Of course, uh, be careful to water down the paint so that it doesn't uh, create any sort of texture or eats up detail just go over the whole model and it will obviously need more than just one coat because it won't cover too well over the black primer but that's the easiest, easiest way to paint a black templar quickly and then I'm going to use Rhinox Hide in this color I'm going to use it over all of the leather areas which aren't too many it's just the uh, little uh, holster of the gun and the leather wrapping on the sword Next, I'm going to use Mephiston Red, and this color I'm going to use it on all of the gemstones, the purity seals, and the ice. The eyes, the lenses. It's a very simple step. Just don't forget that to water down all of your base, base coats just a little bit and your layers of course and you'll be fine here I colored red this little... I, I thought it was a gemstone, gemstone but I think it was a little skull that I decided to paint gold in, at the end. Now I'm going to use Calendar Sky to base coat the sword, which I'm going, which I'm going to make a color transition for it, like like if it's a power weapon. I don't know what the rules are for this model or what they're going to be in the future, but I decided to go for a power weapon. Also, the shield is not, uh, it's a conversion that a friend of mine made of this miniature. It's not really the way it, the Empress Children comes in the box, but I think it looks pretty cool. Next, I'm going to start washing, and for that I'm going to use Nuln Oil on the white parts. Don't use it too heavily, we just want to uh, give a little shadow to the edges of this shoulder pad. Also, this color should be used on the lead belcher parts, and I think I skipped over it here, over it here, but that's what I did off camera because I forgot. And then I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade for all of the tavart places and purity seals, tavart or loincloth or just cloth. I don't know how it's called. If someone would uh, put a comment and just tell me how you're supposed to call these things I would be very happy
Oh, also I use this color for the uh, leather areas. And then I'm going to use Rayclan Flesh Shade for all of the gold areas. This is a little mid-tone between Surfing Sepia and, uh, and Agrax Earthshade. I think it's a good color to to uh, shade in the cold areas. It's a very nice uh, color and you could use also the Seraphim, Seraphim Sepia or the Agrasar shade if you prefer. And then I'm going to use the... Uh, this is a Sermon Blue or Drakenhof Nightshade for the blade, which was really not necessary. Only to give a really dark shadow on the very bottom part of the blade. Next, I'm going to start highlighting the miniature after all of the washes are, washes are done. I'm going to use um, Iron Breaker to give the first highlight to the metal areas. Next, I'm going to use Rune Fang Steel, and this is going to go on the very brightest parts of the metal. Just a little tiny uh, areas where you want to accentuate the silver parts. And that's it. Next. I'm going to highlight the gold. For that I'm going to use Gehenna's gold. And this I'm going to apply it all over the gold areas, just leaving the uh, deepest recesses on the previous color. I'm using a detail brush for this because I'm trying to be very careful. Uh, you can use any size brush that you would like. I just don't want to mess this miniature up. Remember to thin down your paints. I can't repeat repeat that enough. Don't use paint straight from the pot. You can place this this uh, color in your wet palette or in your palette and give it a little bit of water, a little bit of moist, to keep it from being clumpy and uh, drying out on you. Next, I'm going to use Auric Armor Armor Gold and holding the miniature under the source light. I mean the light source. Just uh, try to paint over the places that bounce more light, that naturally bounce more light to you. And uh, that's it. Here on places like the wings, I just try to, to hit the uh, very uh, sharpest edges. The very parts that are on the very edge of the wings. And the places that you see light bounce from the skull. Alright, next. I'm going to use Scrack Brown. And this color I'm going to use to, to edge highlight all of the leather areas. This is a very easy step. And after that, I'm going to use Valor Brown to give the leather areas uh, an extreme highlight, just on the sharpest edges and places where you want to accentuate. Now I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet to give the first highlight to the red areas. Now, this is going to be all for the second part of this tutorial. I hope to see you on the third part, and I hope you like this tutorial and you find it helpful. Uh, please leave a comment, like, and thank you very much for watching. Check out my Facebook page if you, if you would like to talk to me, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.